I've seen a number of post questions and forum discussions all about doll mode on the PreSonus Studio Live Series 3 mixers. And there's a whole bunch of videos out there about using doll mode and all the different features that are included. But there does seem to be some confusion for some folks on how to just get things set up and how to get doll mode working in the first place. Now, there's a ton of different ways you can do this with routers and getting Wi Fi involved and all that kind of stuff. But this video is for folks that are having trouble just getting set up at all and want to see the absolute fundamentals of making a direct connection between their console and PreSonus Studio One. So let's start with everything turned off. We're going to want to connect our computer and mixer to one another using the provided USB cable. We're then also going to want to connect the computer and the mixer to one another using the provided Cat5 cable. This is not an either or situation. In this scenario, we need to connect both. Now in your computer, you're going to want to navigate to your network settings and be sure that your hardwired connection is active. I'd suggest turning off Wi-Fi for the first time you try this to make it a little less confusing. Now on the mixer, we're going to want to go to the UC net button and we're going to want to press that. Now here you have your control settings as well as your DAW mode settings. Now a lot of confusion I think for folks. So if I don't have DAW mode set up, when I go to hit DAW mode, nothing happens. And that can be really frustrating when you're trying to set up doll mode. So to set that up, first we want to go to UC Net. And it's going to, by default, be over here on Dynamic. And if you plug this into your router and you know how to set all that kind of stuff up, that should work just fine. But again, this is for folks that are having trouble and just want to make that direct connection. So we're going to go ahead and put our network into Manual. And you want to hit Edit. Now I've just put in these values here as an example to test with. And you can use the same values if you like. And you'll see here on my network network settings in my computer, and I've done the same thing. I've turned off all my Wi-Fi, I've turned everything off except for my hardwired connection, and I've manually entered in an IP address 169.254.200.34. Now over here I'm 169.254.200.32, so within the same range, just a couple of digits removed. And then for my subnet, 255.255.00 on both, and that's all we need to get started here. So I can go ahead and hit apply here on my console, and then under software control at this point, here we go. Now I can connect to Studio One on this MacBook Pro. Now immediately you'll have the ability to take control of everything that's happening. Now I've got, I've got a uh, Adam drum pad hooked up here, but if I close that, I'll be able to immediately take control of this entire session just by hitting doll mode. And now I've actually got the different instruments on that impact drum pad right here. And I've also got the rest of my uh, channels from my multi-track session right there as well. Now, in this case, I have left the master control section to control my SD card, because I'm actually recording this uh, voiceover using the, the built-in SD recorder here. And we can go take a look at that right now. You can see that's running. But if you wanted to have these transport controls work for doll mode, all you've got to do is go back over here to UC Net and under transport controls, select what you want that to control. We can flip that over to software. And you can see right now, nothing's playing in the software. I can start and stop my DAW. You can see that's operating now. I can stop that and then I can go back over, find my SD card. That's still recording. So again, step by step, all we're doing is going to our PreSonus mixer, UC Net, and we want to set our control network to a manual IP address. All it has to do is be within the same range. Once that's done and you've made a connection, your software control dropdown will be populated. You can choose what you want to control. The only option that'll pop up in this instance is going to be this computer running this instance of Studio One, and then we'll have access to doll mode. And that's as simple as it is. So I think a lot of the confusion in setting this up comes for folks who are not entirely clear on what these three ports on the back of the mixer are actually doing. In this setup, the USB connection here is actually transporting audio between the PreSonus mixer acting as an interface and your computer system. And that's just like any other interface. In fact, you could connect up a different interface altogether, like a Mark of the Unicorn interface, or just use the built-in inputs and outputs on your system. And that has nothing at all to do with the UC net control. So you can still have doll mode here, even if you're not using the Studio Live mixer 
as your audio interface. That's why we need to go into the UCNet controls to set up this control network. UCNet is your universal control network, and that is where you set up how the mixer uh, acts as a controller, like any other controller would, like a mouse or keyboard for this software. And this network control can be done with a direct connection or via your router, Wi-Fi. So you can use that control network remotely and you don't have to be connected right up next to it and you don't have to use the device as your audio interface. Now the other network connection, this is your AVB and that does have the ability to transport audio. So if you were using your AVB as your audio interface, you would have to set that up in conjunction with this network to control it. So that would be a little more complex of a setup and we can cover that down the line. But for right now, the important thing to understand is that your audio interface, this USB connection, is separate from the UCNet control network. And as soon as you can wrap your head around that idea, I think using DAW mode is a little clearer as you'll get used to switching back and forth between your mixer, which is acting as an audio interface, and the DAW mode controller, which is just controlling your software as a surface. So that's it. If you've got Studio Live and you've been using DAW mode in your workflow, let us know down below how it's been working out, how you like it, if it's fast for you switching back and forth, and if you've run into any situations where it has done something you didn't expect, or you've run into something that uh, has been a, a hurdle or something you've had to figure out. I'd love to know what you've been dealing with. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon with more Studio Live and Studio One videos. Thank you.